Wow. <laughs> He's got so much respect, that boy is unbelievable. Extremely friendly. Fair, you, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. Fun, witty, intelligent. Um, I think there's, there's just so many words coming to my mind at the moment. June 16 on Studio Mix Live. Actually, no, it's June 16 everywhere. That's right. Ta-da, yeah! <laughs> he was one of the first people to actually have mixed mixes on air. Studio mix yes. was in the studio. In this particular one? Right here. Oh, wow. Wow. What memories does that bring? Memories of YFM was three months old, yeah. and I was offered a TV gig of the strength of what we were doing at YFM. Yeah. Uh, no TV training, just we love what you do, come do it on TV. Come be yourself. Just come be yourself. How was that? It that was, ex first, it that was first exactly day. 20 years ago. That first day on air, because I know radio and television is very yes. different. You know what, it, I was nervous, but back of my mind, I'm like, you know, like they say, God never gives you a load you can't handle. Oh, that's true. I felt they trust me with this. Yeah. Why am I doubting to myself? <laughs> they wouldn't have called me if they didn't trust me. So yeah. that's how I started my TV career. Let's talk about your radio career. Let's take it yes. to the very beginning. Your radio mm. career before you got to YFM. Mm. You started DJing at the age of 13. Uh, yeah. Take me through that. Like, In who fact, starts DJing at 18? I started DJing during the 1986 World Cup. Uh, the team I supported at the time was West Germany. Really? My favorite soccer player at the time was Karl Heinz Rummenich. So, what? And, and, and funny, just today we announced that I'm going to the uh, World Cup in Russia. If I was here, okay, I'll yeah. Bluetooth high five. I'm you. taking five people with me to Russia. I might take Can you. Can I be we'll one of those people? <laughs> I see you've got cupcakes. It's a good I've, start. I've got, I've got cupcakes. I've got cupcakes just start. for it's you. A good start. <laughs> but so you're going to the World Cup, but you've yeah. obviously got those memories of World Cups along the years. I've got memories, but I only started taking World Cup seriously in 1986. Yeah. I was 13 at the time. Yeah. I think it was in Mexico. And I mean, I'm st I literally just started at high school. Yeah. And it's just, it just the atmosphere was insane. Uh, uh, you know, like I said, my mind was on West Germany. Yeah. I think there were only two African teams at the time. Mm. I think it was Morocco and Algeria. Or Sorry, Cameroon. I was six. I can't. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no, no, I'm actually schooling you right now. I can see. Uh, yeah, there were only two African teams in the 86 World Cup, if I'm not mistaken. And it was the year of the hand of God. By Maradona. Oh yes! And just that's like one of the memories I have. Yeah. Of the Italians were on fire. Um, 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 obviously, Argentina yeah. uh, were doing the thing, and the Germans, you know, have always been good in my opinion. So, so yeah. Are you a big fan of football? I'm or... not a fanatic. Yeah. But I love world events, though. Okay. So I'll watch the Olympics. Yeah. I'll watch Afcon. I'll watch the World Cup. Yeah. But I'm not gonna go to the stadium to watch my team, uh, especially if I know it might break my but heart. But Barcelona's so, uh, coming. <laughs> you know, I'd, I would, if I have a Barcelona ticket, I'd rather find a fan of mine that loves Barcelona. Ah, then I'm not getting you a ticket. Well, give me a ticket, then no. I can give it away to someone who loves no, Barcelona. I'm not, I'm not getting you a ticket. Then you're not coming to Russia. <laughs> oh, it's simple. Oh, it's thing. like that. It's simple, <laughs> you know? So now we're swapping tickets. You go to the World Cup, I give you Barcelona. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So when it comes to your radio career, mm. you've been absolutely amazing over the past Thank couple you. of years. Do mm. you have a moment where you feel like, you know what, mm. this was that pivotal moment that made me say, I want to be on radio. This is the medium that I need to be on. It, again, probably happened when I was 13, 14. Yeah. I used to listen to radio uh, cassettes of a radio station the TDK. called... Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, WBLS in New York City. Okay. I used to listen to these radio tapes, and I'm like, I've heard radio before. Yeah. But these Americans were doing radio at another level. Yeah. They had mixed, mixed shows. I think KISS FM had the master mix. Uh, WBLS had another. That's when I'm like, I want to do this. Yeah. And then two years later, Metro FM was born. And then I heard Treasure Shabalala on the radio. Yeah. And I was like, I want to do this. And yeah, I've been a year at Metro now. Being a year at Metro. Yes. OK. Before we get to Metro, mm. YFM, it's happening, mm. it's hip, you're young. Everybody at that point was literally glued to YFM. Yes. Why the decision to move to Five? Why the decision to go national? It was time to move. And, and I've always believed, don't overstay your welcome. Yes. Leave while it's good, leave while people love and are going to miss you. But don't, it was called a white station. Don't, 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 don't supra it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? You're on uh, your own day. <laughs> no, no, just... <laughs> I need to give an example that is yeah, current. Yeah. I, I believe, you know, 
you, you need to read the climate all the time yes. in all that you do. That's true. Even at 5FM, I left because it was time. Yeah. And, and, and I think anyone that wants to stay long in any career yeah. knows to read the signs, yeah. to listen to the gut feel. And, 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 and that's, that's what I've done in my career all the time. You've done that, and now you're at Metro. Um, mm. Before we get into the quiz, how has it been being at Metro? Because even when you started, people were saying, mm. oh, so Fresh is back at Metro. Like I left. You know? Yes. You, you, you know what? It, it, the beauty for me of Metro is the fact that I first heard Metro 30 years ago. Yeah. And when I heard Metro, I'm like, I want to work here. You know, uh, my Norwegian friend, uh, Oscar, he moved back to um, oh, Norway. Oh, not Oskido. Uh, no, no, not okay. Oskido, uh, okay. another Oscar. Yeah. He moved back to Norway about 1988. Yeah. Uh, Metro was a year or two years old then. And that was our favorite radio station. Nice. So last year when I told him that I'm finally going, he's like, why did you wait 30 years? <laughs> yeah. Again, things happen when they're meant to happen. That's true. I, I'm not a believer in, because that's my goal, yeah. I can't make a small line and a detour that would add value so that when I get to my goal, I'm bigger, stronger, faster, leaner, meaner. Yeah. So that's what, that's what I felt I needed to do. Um, you were asking me about the cupcakes. Yes. <laughs> These cupcakes, I know you love food, just like me. Yes. Um, these cupcakes come at a price. Okay. okay. I've got three sports questions that I'm going to ask you. Okay. But as part of these questions, uh, if you get them right, then, you know, you'll, you'll okay. get a cupcake. Okay. okay. And if I get them wrong? So, hey? If I get them wrong? If you get them wrong, you don't get the cupcakes. Ah, uh, okay. 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 So, the first one. This is a, 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 a clue with regards to the first one. Why is it not a quiz between us? Why is it not a quiz between us? Yes. Because <laughs> I'm here. Because I'm here. Always a third person. Kim Ang Moto. She, she, she's actually done very well, especially when it comes to the 100 meter dash. And I see about 86. Hmm. That is a good question. Mm. Um, they are very cupcake. Think of. Give me a clue. Give me Should a clue. I say Pala? Eh, Prombeda. Yeah, Prombeda. So that that's in her name. Er, 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 I give up. <laughs> you can't. Prombeda. Prombeda. Trumpet. A horn. <laughs> I've given it to it. Karina uh, Horn. Uh, yeah, that's the last name. Oh, sorry. Karina okay. Horn. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know <laughs> white girls. No, I honestly didn't know white girls print. Uh, so. But they okay. do. They Here's do. A current Clearly. Person. He's, He's a current person. A current He's York. coming on the 16th of Iniesta. May. He will be. Oh, ah, wow. What? Oh, wow. you thought the person's like this, I won't see. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So he's going to be here uh, on uh, the 16th of May when uh, Mamelodi Sundowns play Barcelona. Exactly. Looking forward. We have, we have a final question for you. If you final get that question. one, you might get the cupcakes. If not. If not, what? Bottle of shampoo. <laughs> Wow, to do see what you did. Me, let me be the he comedian. recently retired from rugby. Ah, how about that? Hey, what we know? What we know? What we know? What we know? It's fine. I agree. The DJ Fresh, so, you're actually uh, from Botswana. Error. No, that's happening. I'm going to get a xenophobic attack. What's up, man? I'm going to get a mobile phone. You know, I'm more South African than you are. Wait again. Wait again. I go to Botswana every month. Every I think three months. Yeah. Yeah. Me 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 Metro police had a very good camera. They like, how about you are about to feel him? I'm not trying to answer. No, man, it's the end of the show. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so, so much. Do you want us to, you want me to wrap up the show? Please wrap up, wrap, the up show. The show. wrap up the show. Uh, people at home, you know, if you're not watching Spot at 10, what, what are you doing? doing? Welcome, thank you, welcome. Fresh. Thank you, Fresh.